actually get like a red marker. Do we have a red marker? That would be hilarious. It's called syphilis. <laughs> don't ask me this part. Yeah, don't ask me this part. Oh, we're rolling. Oh, we have a commercial. We have a commercial. How's my hair? Perfect. Oh, this is for uh, the place where we had the dinner. That was that called? And I'm going to skip that. All right. Oh, we're live. All right, fantastic. That looks good. That looks good. Hold on. Make some noise, everybody. Hey, wow. Mr. President, uh, before Ooh. you go uh, behind Mr. President, that, yes. do you want to turn down the volume on this? Oh, absolutely. Thank I want to you. stop the volume. It's, that's the monitor. That's the, everybody, I had the monitor so I can see myself. So I can see myself. They'll never get me on looks. They'll never get me on looks. And let me just get right up. Who? Jesus Christ. Who keeps moving this thing? <laughs> can hardly get by. Oh, wow. It's really bright. I think we're like extra bright today, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. What are you doing down there? Okay. This is security's back here. That's okay. I have to hug this one. Mm, it's such a great flag. There you go. They like when you play with their tassels. They like that. There you go, sweetie. There you go. This one's jealous. This is the one on the one on the left. Always jealous. Mm, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, I left my notes. I love could you grab those notes for me? My aide de camp. These are very important. First of all, I want to welcome everybody. To the press room, to the press room. We have a tremendous lineup of great, great reporters today. Uh, we have my usual aide de camp. Aide de camp, Cass is here. And of course, we have uh, Michelle here. And then we have the great Enoch Scott. Everybody give, let's have Enoch. Enoch. For those of you who don't know Enoch, you should know Enoch. He's very, very, very talented guy. Big show in Las Vegas, but he's today he's the entertainment reporter for some Las Vegas paper here in Mar-a-Lago. He flew to Florida just to be on this. Uh, as you know, the channel here, uh, my friend uh, Johnny D lets me use this channel because the uh, white tea kicked me off, horrible, horrible people, and so did the, the tickety talk. They kicked me off too. But here on the white tea, we have new members. We have new members. We've had 104 thousand subscribers thank you very much i really appreciate that no sit 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 i really appreciate that and we've reached 19 members over medium two over medium two has joined us and joe jetta joe jet jota oh jo, is it jota what is, which one is it which one is it jota jota fly as can be i like that name Fly as you can be, because you know, I'm down with the struggle, everybody. I'm down with the struggle. Fight the power, fight the power. The great Chuck D. And uh, who's the guy with the lamp around his neck? What's his name? Flavor Flav, he's a great guy. Um, <laughs> That will make our 20th member, right, Cass? It's 20th member with no, that we're one? at 19. We're close oh, to Oh, we're at, no, we're close. We're very, if one person joins today during the press conference, that'll give us 20 new members, which helps my legal defense fund. Uh, it's all rigged, folks. It's all rigged, so I need your money. I mean, I don't need it because I'm rich. I'm really, really rich, but I need it because I like to spend your money, not my money. If you, that's how I stay rich. All right, so uh, we've got a number, uh, a number of new members, which I just mentioned. And remember, for those of you considering joining, don't be cheap, don't be cheap, just join, okay? Uh, members get access to custom emojis and live chat. No one's ever done that before. I, I thought of that because I'm a stable genius. Also, members also have priority for questions being answered. Did somebody already give me money? Yes. Sir. Who was it? Uh, sir, sir. Uh, yes, thank yes. you. It's th three sirs. Sir, sir, oh, sir. Sir, <laughs> sir, sir. Thank sir. you so much. Sir? Yes. Sir. Go. Yes. Sir. 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 Uh, Lisa Mitchell wants to give you five American dollars. Oh, we love Lisa Mitchell. Love Lisa Mitchell. We're bringing Lisa Mitchell in from um, from West Virginia, right? West Virginia, if I remember, Cash, is that I right? Think so. I think yeah. so. I think so. She should say hello to her sister, brother, father, uncle. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President. Do you have They're a very close there. They're very close. But very they love coal. But they love coal. They love it. They love coal. Drill, baby, drill. Go yeah. ahead with the question. Yeah, those lungs aren't getting any pinker. Any cleaner. Yeah. Mr. President, 
Do you have a favorite song from the 80s? Oh, there's so many songs. There's Macho Man. Was Macho Man in the 80s? I love Macho Man. I love uh, I love YMCA. I love In the Navy. I love all the Village People songs. I love all the Village People. And, and I promise, at the end of today's press conference, I will do YMCA. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to do the whole thing now. But I think that's it. Well, I think check. those are actually 70s. I, you, might, you know what? You might be right. You might be right. We, what is, what's a good 80s song? I, would you, be a, I want to sex you up. Is that one? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Sexual healing. <laughs> that would be a good one. I would have that for Ivanka. All right. So I just want to go over some of our quick, quick members. Uh, the 19 that we have. Kitty Witty. Fantastic. Not Vladimir Putin. My friend, V. Poots. Uh, Silk. Shouter, Silk Shouter, I hope that's right. Uh, Bobex, we've got uh, Ash Blonde, uh, One Month, Gear, uh, Gerard Smith, BV, D-Swing Morrell, we love the D-Swing, we love the D-Swing, I think we all know what that means. Um, uh, Fofi, we love the Fofi, great name. Uh, Satserve, Satserve always has some great questions. Ospreay D40, another one. Great comments. Raul Duke, the Duke. Who doesn't love the Duke? I watched all his movies. Listener, I always say, great name. Tremendous name. Steven Rosso. Uh, Lisa Mitchell, who just gave us some more money. And uh, one she, with the universe. By the way, Lisa said she is down in the coal mines. She is in the coal mines. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> You're making America great again, again. Mega, mega, which I appreciate. And of course, Falco. Falco. Has Falco been on, Cassidy? Have we seen Falco? It feels like Falco's. I don't know if I've seen him live, but he's been in there. He has been in there. He's making the yeah. comments. And I just want to thank everybody down in front there with uh, the. Uh, Enoch. Yes, uh, from the Atomic Times, local entertainment reporter. Thank you. Uh, further to the 80s songs. Mom to Huskies would like to know if you could do Ice Ice Baby. Listen, this is so, this is perfect. This is, this is perfect. Um, I love Ice Ice Baby. He was just at the White House for New Year's Eve. I mean, uh, Mar-a-Lago. In my mind, it's uh, the White House South. But he did, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. He sang it for 90 minutes straight. It's his only song. It's his only song. He just sang it over and over again. And he had a very nice tuxedo and he had a tuxedo hat that looked like a baseball cap. So is, did you know his name is Rob Van Winkle? No one talks about that. No one talks. Vanilla Ice is Rob Van Winkle. And shouldn't we all be Vanilla Ice? That's what I'm trying to do to this country. Make it Vanilla Ice. Go ahead. We have another question. Uh, yes, yes. Um, everyone's asking about the markings on your hands. Oh, the, on the, the, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing on my hand. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. But you know what's interesting about my hands? I have tremendously huge hands. Very, very big hands. Manly hands, billionaire hands, presidential hands. And you know what they say, big hands, big gloves. And no complaints down <laughs> here. It's healed. Whatever it was, it healed. Uh, yes, Gigi Morris has suggested that perhaps Jesus himself healed your hands. Is that? <laughs> I, I think so. A lot of people can compare me to Jesus, uh, and uh, I love Jesus. I just found out he was Jewish. I had no idea. I love the Jewish people, great people, fantastic people, and I've done so much for the Jewish people. You know, so many of the Jewish people love me so much, they think my name, Donald J. Trump, is Donald Jewish Trump. It's not. It's genius. It's genius. Thank you. In the back. Lisa Mitchell just gave you another dollar ninety nine. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, just keep just keep Chip chipping it away. away with the coal. Keep chipping away on the coal <laughs> and keep giving me money. It's fantastic. Use like an aqualung if you can. I hear they have down there in the coal mines. Go ahead. Um, hello, this is uh Mamie Van Doren from uh the Tennessee Gazette and Times. I love the Tennessee. I love Tennessee. I love Alabama. I love the poorly educated. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Mamie Mo said, sir, if at some point you're unable to pay court assigned damages, would you be willing to serve as that person's butler, as in the Seinfeld episode? I don't watch Seinfeld because that's Jewy in New York. It's very, very Jewy. I, very you Jewy. could speak to that. Well, uh, I would never be a butler myself. I usually have a butler. I usually have a butler serving me. So what I would do is I would loan out one of my butlers from Mar-a-Lago, the greatest club in the world. Everyone agrees on that. That Mar-a-Lago. So she would get a. Uh, this E. Jean Carroll, she would get a wonderful, wonderful butler from Mar-a-Lago, and you know he he might spy on her, he might not. I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead. Um, 
There is also some suggestion from some of the people I meet with in my youth group, my church youth group. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the youth. I'm the leader of the youth because I'm yes, not a youth. Right. But and I love church. I think church is important. I mean, I've never been there, but I hear it's very, very I'm important. I'm a big fan of church's chicken. Church's, um, chick oh, church's is good. I like church's chicken. They are suggesting. Popeye's, Popeye's has got the spicy sandwich, though. And spinach. And spit. No, I don't like spinach. Oh. I don't like spinach. Vegetables. Unless it's like drowning in cheese and butter. I think we can all agree on butter, right? I, Even I, the left and the right. You see that? I'm bringing people <laughs> together. I'm a uniter, not a divider. Go right ahead. Uh, they're suggesting, a lot of people in my youth group, some of the kids are suggesting, perhaps, that, and, and Miss Karen uh, Silman is suggesting that that blood is, in fact, stigmata. Stigmata. Oh, they, so that's like the uh, mafia. No, no, no. I have no connections no, to the not, mafia. No, not the mafia, sir. Like, you know how uh, when Jesus got nailed and their blood was on his oh, hand. The, oh, I like that. I like that. A stigmata? Yeah. Stigmata? I like that. I thought that was like a pistola, like the Italian gun. No, not No, and it's not the astigmatism like in your eye. No, no. The stigmata? No, I have perfect vision. Uh -oh. I have perfect vision. Except when I have to go in for depositions because then I wear then I wear the glasses. But but you've never seen me in glasses, have you? You saw me in a mask, which was all phony anyway. I didn't want to wear a mask. Go ahead, down in front. A uh, question from Sir Boblo Blas. Boblo Blas. Boblo Blas. Blah blah blas. Thank you. Blah blah blas. Blah blah blas. Blah blah blas. Sir Lord King God, sir. Oh, thank you. That's the best one. Uh, why don't we we save them put them on the list put For them sure. on the I like that you know when, when I'm back in power he'll be the last one arrested they ask will you ever donate your bone spurs to a museum well I I think <laughs> I, I think we should I think my entire body after I'm uh, and I probably won't die but uh, after I'm, I want to donate my body and my brain because I'm a stable genius to science, but I want real scientists. I want MAGA scientists. I don't want these fake scientists like the ones who, you know, the thing with the pandemic. I don't want those people. I want MAGA scientists because they're the smartest. And they wear my hats. Go ahead. Um, yes, this is uh, Igor. Uh, Igor, how are you? Yeah, I'm from the absolutely American newspaper. Absolutely. Not at American. all Russian. Not the Russian. No, it's a long name all. for a newspaper, but it it's actual. Name, but it's name. very well read from what I understand. Yes, very. A lot of the people are reading it. No, that's very, I uh, like that. And I we have a question it. from the Branch Archer. Br He's oh, we know Branch Archer. Super chat of four ninety nine. Yes, he did. American he dollars, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, he says, sir, sir, sir. I divorced my wife mm -hmm. because she was not a MAGA enough. Uh, can you set me up with the Kelly Ann Conway? Well, I don't think you want Kelly Ann. She's kind of used up, you know, because she was with that uh, uh, her husband, who is a, a left-wing radical Marxist communist. Socialist. Yes, we hate the communists, right, the especially fascistic. at the All-American Times. Not at absolutely at all Russian. Not at yeah, all we Russian. We do not like whatsoever. the communists. At whatsoever. We do not. We don't. We don't fly by that. But I have to tell you, Alina Haba has some very attractive friends. How old is this guy who's asking? Uh, I do not know, sir. I would guess maybe. Well, it doesn't matter. As long as he's rich, he can have any girl he wants. Well, he wants. gave you four ninety nine, which in my country, I money. mean America, <laughs> is a, a lot, lot of money. That's a lot of money. That was a great question. That, that's the, those are the kind of questions I like. Those are the ones I like to answer about women and beauty. Because, you know, I owned two beauty pageants at one time. No one knows beautiful women the way I know beautiful women. And if they gain any weight, I always say, lose it, chubby. I always say that because I'm honest. And sometimes honesty is the best policy. Not all the time, but go ahead. Down in front. Uh, you got a donation to your legal fund from Bluegrass Buddha LLC. It's our first donation in any live stream, actually, for wow. $5. See that? This is what I do. People who've never donated before will come onto the YT and give me money. And did you say Buddha? Did you say Buddha? Uh, Bluegrass Buddha LLC. Blue, gl Bluegrass Buddha. That was a tough one. Bluegrass Buddha LLC. I think I know about Buddha. He was the guy who was very, very rich and gave it all up, which is very strange. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So he could sit around in a in a sheet and meditate. Very strange, but I knew Kayano Reeves played him in a movie. It was very blue. The film was very blue, which is probably why you've got the blue Buddha, which is fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, and by the way, if anyone's just joining, we have gotten 
104,000 subscribers because of you wonderful people. If you're watching right now, subscribe. If you're watching on the Tickety Talk, make sure you follow. We've got 5.9 million people. We want to get back to 6 million. And on the YT, we want to get this to 150,000 because I got the silver thing from YouTube, but I want the gold. I want the gold, because I'm all about the gold. All right, that guy over yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, sir, we're still getting a lot of questions. You never really addressed the, again, Enix Scott from the Atomic Times. Thank you. Um, we never got the um, answer to your hand. Uh, uh, and uh, Jesus Rodriguez. Jesus Rodriguez. It might be Jesus. You mean Jesus? I, yeah, I know I what know. your name is. Your I, name is Jesus. I just, started, Jesus. I just started Duolingo. Right, then, yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very, I'm glad you did that. That's fantastic. But I'm glad you put it out of Jesus and not Jesus. I know who Jesus is. I've seen the paintings. He is blonde. Uh, he has blonde hair and blue eyes. He looks a lot like Obi-Wan Kenobi. He does, he does. Look, he dresses very similar, very similarly. Concerning the hands... You're going to see a lot of things in the press. A lot of stuff is breaking. My people are releasing a story right now about what it is. But whatever it is, it's gone. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm under a lot of stress, folks. I'm under a lot of stress. It's probably just a couple of paper cuts. But we'll have the official medical thing very, very soon. Over here. Uh, sir, sir, sir. Again, yeah. Igor from Igor. the absolutely American newspaper, not at all Russian Times. Which has no affiliation to Vladimir Putin, correct? I, I don't even know those words. Uh, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, sir, sir, sir. You said you never met this E. Jean Carroll. Never met her. Never There's met her. There's at least one picture of you with her, and you identified her as your second wife. Uh, well, is it possible you were married to E. J. Carroll? This is D.W.S. Th that I was married to E. That's Jean what Carroll. That's what D.W.S. That was a silly question, right? That's a very silly what question. What a silly question. It's a very silly question. I like the fact, as a reporter who's non-biased, you already said it's a silly question. And so I, it's I my duty to ask the silly questions. I apologize for saying duty. I don't, that, that's okay, I don't mind. But I don't think I need to answer the question because the reporter who is totally non-biased says it's a silly question. And let me tell you something about that photo. They were shuffling photos in front of me back and forth and back and forth. Have you ever made a mistake on a photo? I, I don't make mistakes, but that day I thought that was Marla Maples because Marla Maples was standing next to E. Jean Carroll and then they switched in the photo. And of course I wouldn't know that because they switched the photo. It's kind of like in the movies where they switched the, the poison and the drink and the, the bad guy takes the poison even though he was the one who gave the poison to the good guy. I was the good guy and they switched the photo. So I think that explains it. I did know her husband. I never met her. But did you, did you know she called her husband a gorilla? Did you know she called her husband a gorilla? Look it up. Look it up. Terrible, terrible person. Nasty, nasty woman. I'm not paying her a dime. Go ahead. Uh, hi, it's Johnny Katz from the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm, Johnny, you I'm stepped in. Between, in. I, two seconds. I'm off to a, a show. Another event. And then I've got to go hang out. You uh, probably have four or five things today. Yeah, I've got it. I've done four or five things. Already. And I've got 20 more. Uh, right. But uh, you've gotten five pounds from Joe from Scranton. Five pounds from Joe? Well, how can you be in Scranton? Is that I, Scranton, England? I, You know, I, I'm literally here for five minutes. Okay, you don't have the time. You don't yeah. have the time to do yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, we do have a question from uh, Brooks Bands. I'm very interested in this question myself, sir. If, uh, sir, sir, sir. Thank if you, you were to come you, to Vegas you. and perform as a headliner, what song would you choose to croon and who would you duet with? Uh, well, and I'll take this answer uh, as you leave, time, yeah. as you leave. Well, I like the song from Hamilton uh, called I'll Be Back. I'll Be Back, which I think is the perfect song for me. I've sung it before. I'll sing it again. And I would love to duet with Melania. She's so beautiful. She's right. Mel has anyone security? Nobody? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, she's. Oh, OK. Uh, Melania is on her way back, I've been told. But I've been told that for the last six months. So uh, that would be my song. I'll be back. If you love the show, Hamilton, it's a Broadway show. I love Broadway music. I've talked about this before. Um, I don't like the fact that, like, you know, because uh, you know, I can tell you, folks, George Washington wasn't black. Just so you know. Just so neither was Lafayette. Lafayette, but they did that in the show. It was a very woke show, except for that song, because they were saying, I be back, down in front. Uh, you got a donation from Joetta Flies Can Be, who is a new member for $5. Is she's a new member right now? 
Is she 20 or is... Oh, Joanna. No, oh, yes. Yeah, she became a member she, of Yes, a she lives ago. great comments. Thank you so much, And Joanna. Thomas Riegler just sent you $10. Wow. Very nice. Holy Thank cow. You. Thank I, you, Thomas. Do we have a question from I, Thomas? Not from Thomas, sir, but from again from the T Tennessee Gazette and Times. Hi, sweetie. Um, How are you? Uh, Tell no, me your name again, sweetheart. Uh, my name is uh, Ju Ellen. Uh, okay. I, thought was Mamie uh, Van I thought it was Mamie Van Doren. It was Mamie Van That's my sister. That's your sister who's sitting right next to you. <laughs> we're sitting right next to each other. We're, we're twin reporters. It's you are. Unique. You're very attractive. We're, thank you. You kind of look like Dolly Parton with the big Garth Well, that's fans. what I've been told a million times. I, I'd very go to Dollywood sweetie. just to get that kind of energy. Um, and Noel would like to know, sir, 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 what did you do to honor Melania's mother's death? Oh, I uh, I did a campaign rally. I don't think there's any way you can honor a such a beautiful woman. Yeah, I'm such sure. a beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful woman. She had the babushka on and the whole thing. But uh, she, you know, she always told me. She said, Donald, if I die, please do rally that day. And I thought, you know what? They, I wish I knew her name um, because you know. Uh, <laughs> But I know Melania's name. But that's what she asked for. She asked for to me to do a rally in her name. And that's what I did. I honored Melania's mother. She wanted a rally. I gave her. I did the Macho Man. Mm, 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 mm. I did the YMCA. Just for her. Just for her. Just, we dedicated that rally to her. We had over 50, 60, 75, 100,000, 150,000 people. Uh, hi. From the Tokyo Gazette. Tokyo Gazette. Thank you so much. You know, I, yes, I, I really, I, I really appreciate you being here. You know, I, uh, your PM, uh, Obi Wan, whatever his name was. Hi. Uh, he was great. He was a great guy. Was Obi Wan guy. Uh, Wasanabi. Yes. Uh, well, who's your current PM? Uh, no. Uh, uh, uh Philadelphia role. Okay, <laughs> Philadelphia. Uh, do you have a question I for do me? From a, I bet you have a great question. Jonathan Scott, any truth to the Yoko Ono? He want to know, Yoko Ono going to be your running mate? Yoko Ono going to be my running mate? No, 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 no. I think he may mean Stephanie uh, Fasanic or uh, Carrie Lake. Arigato. Yes, I'm someone like that. I, I don't, I've never met Yoko. You She's, go to Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake, right. Uh, Yoko Ono. Where you Carrie Lake too? Yeah, I, I think people may have, I may have been in a photo with Yoko Ono because I, I, I used to live in New York, but they kicked me out. So that's what I think that Jonathan Scott has the confusion on. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic people. And I want, if you're watching right now, please hit the subscribe. If you're on the YT, hit the subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell. We have 104,000 followers. I want 150,000. I'm not greedy. There's plenty to go around. And on the tickety talk, if you're watching right now and you're having a good time and you're laughing, you can share it. You can do that. But you can also make sure you follow me. We're getting back to 6 million followers on there over here in the back hi it's me mamie van door and you just talked hi, to my baby. sister i just talked to your beautiful sister yeah. so attractive she's say, I, I honestly it's like looking in a mirror it is it's crazy are you guys her. irish twins are you irish no twins? we're actual oh you're actual twins. we were conjoined to tell oh, you the truth oh jeez till okay. last year <laughs> really yeah we just last recently year, you, you yeah. kind of waited you yeah well waited. you know we were close yeah, in the were. south you were i conjoined twins are very close but i i love that though i love that though yeah now and my question was well actually not my question it's a question from TMAD0614. Mm. And wanted to know, back to the question of uh, Melania's mother. Yes, Will you be honoring her? Beautiful, beautiful woman. Beautiful. So beautiful it's woman. All like staring in a mirror. Yes, I wish I knew her name. Uh, uh, I want, wanted to know, uh, TMAD, if you're going to honor her with a burial at your golf course like you did your lovely wife. Well, I, I have to tell you, there's a, a lot of benefits to burying family members at my golf course. We had a fantastic commercial about that. You can look that up. But uh, yes, we're considering putting her next to Ivana. But since I wasn't married to her, we put her in a more secluded section because she was a mother-in-law. We're going to have a whole mother-in-law section, a whole father-in-law <laughs> section. We're going to have a wife section because I have so many wives. And I don't know how long... Melania is going to be with me because I never see her. And by the way, by the way, I always say 44 and out the door. And I've given Melania like a six year grace period now. And she's not being very uh, cooperative, if you know what I mean. Down in front. Uh, Lisa just gave our first gifted membership. Oh, that's so nice. Who did she give it, it to? It was gifted to Janice Bunch. 
Janice Bunch, but Janice has been on here many times. By the way, folks, on the YT, you can gift a membership to somebody else. If there's someone you know who wants to give me a, a donation, wants to be part of the team, a silver or gold, what's the first level, uh, Cass? Uh, silver. Silver, gold, platinum, is that it? Yes. If you want to be any of those members, you can gift someone else a membership. It's absolutely fantastic. Go ahead in the back. We have some more exciting news, I guess, from somewhere in the UK. Uh, Mr. Ed Carsaboom gives you- Wasn't gi Mr. Ed a great show, though? The horse that talked? <laughs> I mean, Wasn't that amazing? A talking As an horse? entertainment reporter, I'm really not supposed to give my opinions on things but like that. But it was that, good, though. So I'm supposed to be it objective. Was good show. But Mr. Ed was formative. Formative. For Very me. funny. Very funny. Yeah, really. I don't, I don't know how they did it. I, I don't know how they did I it. I think it's, well, did you ever watch Lancelot Link, Secret Champ? Oh, he was great too. What a yeah. great actor. Yeah. What a great, and the Emmys, every year, overlooked Lancelot Link. Like yourself, sir. Yes, absolutely. That's true. That's true. I, I made Home Alone too. A lot of money. A lot of money. But Mr. Ed Carson Boom's giving you six pounds because I, wow. and he just says, sir, 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 I'm 68. Oh. Now, I'm sure there's a joke there. Yes. Uh, listen. But I wouldn't tell it. Ed, you're a very, first off, thank Thank you for the money. I really appreciate it. You know, they're killing me over here in court with these stupid cases. Uh, but I have to say, you're 68. You're a young man. Think You've got great things ahead of you because you gave me money. And people who give me money, their lives change. Their lives become so much. You'll probably win the British lottery or uh, England's Got Talent or something like that very, very soon because of the money you've given me. Uh, Let's move on. Hi, it's me, Zephoid Beeblebucks from the- Good to see you, I'm not, not, I'm sorry, that my name is Igor, but I'm asking a question Igor. for uh, Zaphoid Beeblebucks. Um, he's saying he's in McDonald's drive through right, and my wants favorite. to know what he should order. Oh, listen, this is what you get. This is what you get. You get one Big Mac, Right, extra cheese. You get one quarter pounder, extra cheese. If they have the McRibs, ha throw that in. Make sure you supersize it. No one loves Diet Coke more than me. I love Diet Coke, and look how big my hands are, huge hands. And then you get the apple pie, and that's your meal. You have the fries, the Diet Coke, the apple pie, and two, you know, what's well, four patties between that, and it's it's delicious. Go right ahead. A donation from not Vladimir Putin. Not Vladimir Putin, who's one of my members. Mm -hmm. One of my members. I, I'm willing to take money from other countries. And he's giving way. you five American dollars, Five not American rubles. dollars, but he's not yes. from Russia, and the money that I took from China, the eight million, dollars that was because they stayed at my hotels and we have very expensive room service folks and by the way my hands totally healed go ahead uh his question was if you can't find melania who's next kiss mary kill mtg lauren bobert or carrie lake well i think you know listen i, I, I mtg is uh Marjorie's a very nice lady, but she's into that CrossFit, so that's kind of a big turnoff for me. Um, I like I like Carrie Lake. She's kind of boyish, kind of a tomboy, and she'll do anything for me, and I mean anything. If you know what I'm talking about, she spent two weeks at Mar-a-Lago when when Melania was out of town. What are my other options? Carrie Lake. Oh, Carrie Lake. Well, Carrie Lake is great, too. I mean, I'd love to have Ivana, but unfortunately, she's my daughter, and they frown upon, you know, father-daughter stuff because the Bible's so outdated. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm in the friend zone with her anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. In the uh, another suggestion from the chat, sir, for running mate. Have you considered Mayor McCheese? Mayor McCheese would be absolutely fantastic. He's got be close experience. To, he, not only does he have experience, Mayor McCheese is all over the country. Everyone loves McDonald's. You can go to any town in the U.S., and what do they have? They have a McDonald's. It's like church. It's like the newest religion. And I think having Mayor McCheese would help me in some of the states where we have a lot of left-wing, Democratic, radical, Antifa, Marxist, communist, socialist, fascistic people who do like the fish sticks, which they serve during Lent, because I've learned about that because I'm a politician. Go ahead. Uh, another donation from SatServe. SatServe, one of my members. And Gotta he, love SatServe. Always great, great comments and questions. Nineteen ninety nine. Wow. wow. Thank, you, Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you so much. We are gonna get. We're gonna take all today's money and get Alina Habadabadu a very nice gift. She was so fantastic this week in court, and she's so attractive. But I don't see that she's attractive. I see that she's smart. Go ahead. Uh, speaking of Alina Haba, this question comes from Mom to Husky, Sir Lord Mom Sir. To Husky. 
Is Hava auditioning to be your future ex-wife number four? I think she is. I have to say, but I don't see how beautiful and sexy and, and incredible she she is. I don't see that. I see her lawyering skills. Her, she was so good. She stood up to the judge this week, this guy who's like doing judging for like 40 years. She's like, I don't want to do that. Don't talk to me that way. And I'm standing behind her. So I'm seeing her move her hips and it's very sexy and it takes a lot of the stress off. And I appreciate that. So Alina Haba, it was her birthday the other day. A lot of people don't know this. It was Alina's birthday. I want to wish her a happy 25th birthday. We had a big cake for her. You can see it on X. And uh, I think she'd be a tremendous wife. She'd be a tremendous wife. If she wants kids, I'd give her kids. Go ahead. SatServe asks, sir, sir, have you received the XL adult diaper delivery? Uh, and not that I know of. We get so many wonderful gifts from people. Um, but, you know, it, I, I might use it. I might not. It depends. It depends. Go ahead. Uh, hi again, Enoch Scott from the uh, Las Vegas uh, Atomic News. Atomic News. The Atomic News. Yes, um, I love the Atomic people because I love I love the nuclear. I love the nuclear. Well, you can and read we have, us in the dark, which we, is the best part about it. The it paper. is. It's a beautiful place. That's why I love, love, love Las Vegas. It's such a great city. So many talented people. So many talented people. Go right ahead. Yes, uh, and someone wanted to know, uh, Sir Bob Laws, Bob Blah Blahs, wanted to know if you are more of a monsters. Munsters fan or an Adams Family guy? Well, I have to say, this is a great question. I liked the Munsters because it had the antithesis of good-looking women. You had you had uh, uh, Marilyn, who was a classic blonde beauty, and then you had Avanda Carlo, who played Mrs. Munster, who was very sexy. And if you look at her, she's kind of like the style of women I like. She's very like Slovenian, Czechoslovakian, uh, all those uh, Eastern Bloc countries. She's very much like that. But you know, on the Adams family. Uh, you had uh, you had Mrs. Adams, who was very attractive, very sexy, and that long that long black thing. Beyond that, I would have to go with the Munsters overall. But I didn't like the depiction of the husband being treated so poorly, so poorly. It was obviously a very woke show in its time, where the husband was berated by the wife for being a big moron. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. But the women very attractive. Go ahead. Uh, hi, it's me, Mamie Van Doren, again. Mamie, how are you, sweetie? I'm so, I, my sister and I are just, honestly, this is more fun than, like, going to Bojangles. I would marry both of you if I could, but I think, well, in your state, that's legal, right? Yeah, in yeah, your state, you know, it, yeah, come on down. Yeah, that, in your state, that's very, very legal, which I think is great. Yeah, well, we're working on making it so you can marry your cousin. Right, well. Uh, legally. 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 That's yeah, I the can't, most can important. you believe they steal our freedoms like that? I know. It's so sad. We're going to replace those freedoms. We're going to replace those. You can marry anyone you want that you're related to. Uh, and, and that's why we love you. Uh, Miss Joetta Flies can be asked ask another question. And, and I agree with this. King Trump. Did God really send you to save the world? Oh, he absolutely sent me. Uh, God sent me. And you you can see the video. Vid things on the internet are all true. So, <laughs> I mean, don't believe the lies, but just believe that. I was sent here to deal with the terrible, terrible left-wing people. And I think we're going to fix everything because God sent me. And uh, and I, I speak to God regularly. He's a great guy. We have a wonderful, wonderful relationship. And as you all know, I read the Bible. I read the Bible every day. Uh, the Bible is my second favorite book. Uh, my first book is Art of the Deal. Art of the Deal. I mean, the Bible would be my first favorite book, but I'm not in it. But we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that in my second term. All right, next question. Uh, well, a, a lot of people are, are very... Hi, uh, Enix got again. Enix Atomic from Classic. the Atomic. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are really impressed by your vocabulary, sir. They didn't think you knew the word ant antithesis. Antithesis? Who said antithesis? Uh, you said it. I said that? Yeah. Wow. I am a stable genius. It's amazing. Uh, yes, absolutely. I didn't even know I said it. That's incredible. That's how smart I am. There's parts of my brain that access other parts of my brain when I'm not even paying attention to my brain. That's incredible. It's really, really amazing. This is why God sent me, because I use words like antithesis. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Igor, again. Igor, my buddy. Yes, um... Sir, uh, Sir Blah Blahs, he asks a lot of questions. He's he got, does, but you know what? His questions he's got have some been good great. Ones. His he says, Sir Lord good. King God, Sir. And you know what? Just that alone. I think he's incredible. Uh, he's will you use Space Force to explore Uranus 
during your second term. <laughs> we are going to get Space Force going. There's been no new branch of the military. We are going to go to Uranus. We're going to land in Uranus. We're going to get up inside Uranus because from what I understand, there's a lot of minerals and things in Uranus and you got to get those things out of Uranus. And the only way to do that is to drill baby drill into Uranus. And I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to drill Uranus so hard that planet is going to fall out of the sky. Believe me, or it's going to beg for more. Could you comment on the rings around Uranus? Uh, the rings around Uranus are probably like protective rings or something like that. They're certainly not marital rings, but we will take those rings and wrap it around Uranus. If we have to pull Uranus back, you know, because if Uranus is moving around a lot during the drilling, we'll use those rings and pull it right back. Yes. Hi, um, Enoch again from the Atomic Times. Atomic Times. A Atomic lettuce Times. salad, which I don't know if that's a tossing salad reference. Lettuce. A lettuce salad. It says, lettuce salad. It says, uh, sir, sir, sir. Head of lettuce. Head of lettuce. I went to school with her. Yeah, she was an re entertainment reporter. Head yeah. Of sir, 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 your highness, were you able to microchip or put the ankle bracelet back on Melania at the funeral slash wake of her mother? Well, we, it's a, that's an excellent Excellent question. As I have discussed in my other lives, Melania somehow, during one of our rounds of hide and go seek, which can last three, four weeks, she somehow used a file and got the ankle bracelet off, and then she put it on a dog. So what we just saw her running around the property, but we, I had somebody sent there, and we were going to get the ankle bracelet back on. Uh, let me just check real fast on my phone. If we can see it, uh, still not working, still not working. So we are going to get someone to get that ankle bracelet back on. I'd really like to get some photos of her if it's possible. Go right ahead. Mike Timmons sent us his first super on a live treat. Oh, live thank you, Mike. For $199 and asked, did Melania... $199? Yes. Fantastic. Mike, you're the best. They asked, did Melania charge per hour on the first date? Not on the first date, not on the first date, because that was just where you go. Like, what, what, how we met is, it's a party, it's a party. And multimillionaires, like myself, and billionaires in New York, I was a billionaire at the time, uh, they have a little party, uh, and there's a photo of the guy who puts these parties together, and he has beautiful women at this party, and you meet these women, and then, you know, you might go out on a date, you might marry them, you might do whatever. And if you watch the Larry King interview, I explained this very clearly. I was there, I had reserved one model, but when I saw that model, and I saw Melania sitting next to that model, I said, I'll take that model. And they said, that's Melania Krauss. And I said, I don't care what her name is, I'll take her. And it was, it was, uh, it was confirmation at first sight, and we've been together ever since and she's the greatest first lady in the history of first ladies she speaks five languages unfortunately none of them are english um she's an architect she built the eiffel tower at least that's what she told me so she's a very very wonderful woman and uh, i'm sure i'm going to see her again very very soon we've restructured the prenup i don't know what the hold up is go ahead Oh, right here. Oh, I want to make sure if you're watching right now, hit that subscribe button on the YT. Hit the notification bell. You'll know when the next video, the next live, the next special comes out on the Tickety Talk. If you're watching right now, make sure you're following. Make sure you're following. We've got lots of new con content and we'll be here every Friday with the press conference where you can ask any question you want, especially that guy. Hi again, Igor. Igor from the absolutely American uh, Times, Igor's not at all Russian. Again. Yes, uh, we have a question that I feel like I could have written myself. Oh, I by like that. Rune Villadin. Sir, sir, sir. I'm big and strong, tears in my eyes. Oh, this is perfect. Please make America great again. Are you a, ask him if he's a fireman or a police officer or something like that. They're the Rude, ones. If you're listening, are you fire? I guess you just. Yes, because usually they have the fight, like the big, strong firemen with the tears in their eyes, and they come up to me, sure, 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 sure. But I will make America great again, again. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are going to do things. I'm going to be a dictator. 
I'm telling you right up front, and I probably won't even need a VP, but I will be a dictator, and we are going to do it right because you can't be constrained, okay? And I need immunity. I need immunity. You know, they didn't have immunity for the last 250 years, but I'm going to need immunity so I can do the things that I want to do because I'm going to be arresting and locking up a lot of people, and I don't want to be sued when it's all over. Go ahead. Um, hi, uh, Enoch uh, Scott from the Atomic Times again. Hello, Enoch. Um, uh, speaking of immunity, we're still getting questions about your hands. Do you uh, need immunity from whatever that is? Or? It's fine. Uh, I just, I had, um, it was just something that happened and then it went away and it's gone. I think you said- Is it, it like the bad. Helen Keller thing where your parents made you read sandpaper if you were bad? Sandpaper if I was bad. I like that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. I like that. It's whatever it is, it's gone. Uh, don't worry. Cognitively, I'm fine. I'm not like Joe Biden. Like, oh, come on, man. Where am I? Oh, you got the sarsaparilla and, the, and I, a bunch of malarkey, man. Oh, come on, Jack. All right, I'm not like that. I took the test. I took the test. We have a tickety-tock question. I'll come back to the cognitive thing. I don't yeah, want to miss John this. John C. wants to know, as a dictator, will you ask supporters to offer up their wives and daughters? Absolutely. This goes back to <laughs> old England. Uh, when people get married, when lower people get married, I will come to the house and sleep with the bride first. Hopefully, they'll have my children. And this is how we're going to fix this country. We're going to have lots of little baby Trumps running around. And don't and don't think this is... Listen, I'm not. this is not a sexual thing, okay? I'm not going to enjoy any of this. This is to fix this country. And you can look it up. You can look... Remember in... Um, in uh, what's the uh, Bruce Willis film? Uh, I mean, uh, Mel Gibson. What was the name of that Mel Gibson movie? Uh, Braveheart. That's what they used to do. They used to... The guy would come in, he'd do it with the wife, and then everybody was happy. And I think we should reinstill that. Back over here. Hi, yes, it's me, Mamie Van Dorn. And first of all, I would like to say that my sister and I would both offer ourselves up. See that? Um, Already. But we are both uncomfortable with the term dictator. You, uh, you want to go with something else? I, just, I don't even know what the polite word would be, but I do feel like you can't say dictator. Okay, we don't have to say dick. We could say dictator. Because you guys love taters. I love to. I don't mind the tater part. It's okay. more the dick part. Okay, that's true. That's but a I, very I good love. point. How about penis we're tater? Be, Could penis, it be penis tater? Penis tater. I like or that. Or member tater. Member. I like or like that. down there tater. I like member tater because then we can remind people to become a member. Of your. Yeah. Oh, my God. I see what you did there. Yeah, see, become a member here on YT and follow her own here. But if you become a member, that makes me the member tater. That makes me the member tater, and I think that would be fantastic. Go ahead down in front. You got a, another donation from SatServe. Oh, Nine SatServe, Nine. you're incredible. Thank you, SatServe. I uh, love SatServe. Have I mentioned I love SatServe? I love SatServe, but I love all of my members, my member taters. Thank you, member taters. You guys are great. It's going to be fantastic. He Go also ahead. said in chat, sir, 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 your highness, as a retired firefighter, I can't keep the tears out of my eyes when I place them upon you. So, so strong. Big, strong firefighters yes, with sir. tears in their eyes. It's absolutely incredible. How about Despotis? How about Despotis? Do you like that? Uh, instead, for a name, we'll call me Despotus. We're going to work on this, folks. I like Supreme Leader because that's what Kim Jong-un has. He has Supreme Leader. That's the title I really want. That would be fantastic. We have another question. Uh, yes, again, it's Igor from Igor, Absolutely good to American see you, buddy. Times. Not at all Russian. Hold on one second, Igor. Just give me one second. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> My question from me is, what it's like to drink water not irradiated? <laughs> Say that again. What it's like to drink water not irradiated by Chernobyl? Oh, you know what? It's delicious. I put a little bit of lime in here. By the way, this is Trump water. This is the best water because it's the wettest water on the planet. We, we have a special spring in uh, Newark, New Jersey, where we get this. It's the wettest water. It's delicious. Uh, but there is a question from Fofi. Fofi, a member. A member tater. Sir, I can't figure out what Russia, Russia, Russia means, right? Isn't one Russia enough? Silly question. 
Three rushes, obviously, right. better than one rush. Well, you know what it is? It's a play on the fact that, that, that this whole thing is a scam with Russia. I would never let two hookers do what they say they did in the steel dossier. That's why I always say Russia, Russia, Russia. And this comes from the great American TV show written by William Shakespeare called The Brady Bunch. And that's where there's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And it's Russia, Russia, Russia. It's so sad that they've taken that work of art and made it part of uh, political history when Jan was really just trying to be herself and Marsha. And I think the reason that we have the show Succession is because of the Brady Bunch because they were always conniving against each other, which was a great show, by the way. Hi, uh, Enoch Scott again from the Atomic Times. The Atomic and, Times. And, as a Las Vegas Times. entertainment reporter, I'm a big fan of... I don't know if you've heard of this guy, John D. Domenico. Right, right. And right. Uh, Stanley would like to know if you would consider letting John take your place if you do end up in the slammer. Well, if I, well, the thing about John D. Domenico is he's uh, he's very short. He's only like 5'2". A lot of people don't realize that. He's tiny. He's very, very tiny. And he's Italian. I'm, I'm Scottish and German, and he's uh, Irish and Italian. They don't even equate. And uh, I mean, and look at his, look at these hands. Look at these hands. His hands are very, very tight. Look, I want to show you John D. Domenico's hands. We have them right here. These are his hands. We had models of his hands made. These, he has tiny hands. He has tiny, tiny hands. So we, um, so I'll probably, you know, if we have to switch out and put him in jail and I'll come out, I'll do that. I'll do that. That would be fantastic. Go ahead. Uh, hi, hi. Hello again. How you doing? How are you? Uh, Zafford Bibobox. He wants to know, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Possible for one person to be president of three countries at one time. This is a great question. I have been talking about this since I became president back in 2016. I should be president of any place where they speak English. English as the first language. English. 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 They speak a lot of English in, hey, sorry, in, in, in Japan. Uh, sorry, uh, right. Yeah. They speak a lot of English in Japan. But I should be the president of England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Australia, uh, Japan. Isn't that the main language? Hey, the business hey, language? Hey, oh, sorry, yes, exactly. Exactly. So I should be speaking. I should be any place where they speak English. Uh, compulsory. I should be the president of that country, and I would do a fantastic job. People love me in England; they do in Scotland too. Go uh, ahead. Hi, uh, John Smith from the Canadian Gazette. Hey, what John. about Canada? What about Canada? What about? Uh, listen, I, I I say I pretty much say this every week. Uh, my aide Cass can attest to this. I love Canada. It is like another country up there. I go up there, and I'm like an expert. I've been there like three times. And I always say, what is a Canadian? What is a Canadian? A Canadian is an unarmed American with a nicer attitude and a crappy health care plan. And that, by the way, we'll be getting rid of Obamacare, Obamacare. But Canada is a wonderful place. I call it America's Addict. Because you go up there, you know, you open up like in the attic, you're like, wow. Look at all of this great stuff, because you forget it's up there. But the Canadian people are socialists, and we need to end socialism on this continent. And we have to stop the, the Mexican caravan coming into this country, and we need to build an ice wall between America and Canada. Go ahead. Um, hi, it's Mamie Van Doren's sister. I can't oh, quite remember what my name is right now. <laughs> right. Um, you're, you know what? You're so beautiful, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much. And matter. you know what? Right back at you. Right. Thank you. They'll never get me on looks. They're going to get me on a lot of stuff, but they won't get me on and looks. I, I had a question about that ice wall. Is that like the one in Game of Thrones? Yes, exactly. All right. And now, Jane 1970 said Indians speak English, too. Would you like to be Indian president? But I think if you're in America, aren't you already president of the Indians? So much so. So much so. This is such a great question. I went to India, if you remember, when I was president, when, when everything was great. Gas was free. Food was free. And by the way, there were no blizzards when I was president. There was no cold weather. 25 states weren't freezing. But under Biden, oh, oh, come on, man. What's going on? Oh, uh, the whole country's freezing. Why? Because of Biden. God hates Biden, but he loves me. And as soon as I'm back in office, it's going to be fantastic. But concerning India, concerning India, I went to India. Modi was the PM. They took me to a cricket stadium. They love crickets over there. They're good luck. That, excuse me. Is that the cell phone? 
Yes, the cell phone, the jitterbug. Yes, yeah. exactly. So they took me to the cricket stadium and 100,000, you can look it up, 100,000 Indians. I mean, the place stunk of curry and B.O., but they absolutely love me in India. You know why? Because I'm a man. I'm a strong man. I'm muy es macho. That's Spanish. But if I knew the Indian phrase for it, I would say that. And that is why I should be leading India also. I think that would be great. Go ahead. And they have great casinos. They have great casinos, the Indian casinos. And, uh, I, you know, and when I talk about Indians, I'm talking about the dot, not the feather. What? Yeah. The, oh, the, I thought you were talking about that. I've been talking about the feather. No, no, the feathers I've are been good talking about the, woo, woo, woo. because they make they do the casino the uh, casinos. The other they, ones do convenience stores. But exactly, but they have the casinos in India too. I'm assuming, right? Don't they? I I don't, I've never been they out of a lot of money pad. and a lot of people. A lot of people. And the women are very beautiful up to about 25. Then they all fall apart. Then they all just kind of fall apart. You, Attractive right up to then. You Go got a dollar ninety nine from somebody. Dollar ninety nine. Mike Timmons, and he wanted to know as phallus tater. Every woman has to speak with accent. I guess he's saying if if you become phallus tater, because you know I don't like to say the other yeah, word. Yeah, the other one, phallus tater. That one's good too. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> Mike like Timmons that. is quite phallus a wordsmith. He's like a, a shaky spear. Well, let's let's face it. Women in this country all sound like nails on a chalkboard. It's, you well, have to I can't even, I don't even like hear my own voice. Not you. No, you're right. You, no, not you, are you. Correct. But I think that women in this country should all have an accent, uh, either a southern accent like yours, or something like Melania, or Ivana, or Marla Maples, who was from Georgia. So I think you've, whoever asked that, who asked that question? That is a great question. Uh. Uh, Mike Timmons. Mike Timmons asked about the accent. We will make sure we're going to send all the um, all women. But first, we're going to deal with the radical leftist, uh, uh, communistic, fascistic women. We're going to send them to a camp uh, where they're going to be reprogrammed. Uh, so they can be more conservative. It's, it's, it'll be a place where they can kind of concentrate. Uh, it'll be that kind of camp. And that way we can get them to rethink properly down in front. Bill Eatson sent you $2. Thank you, Bill. That's two. Peace. That's peace. Victory. Peace. That's what Winston Churchill would do, who's a, who I knew. They uh, asked, would you consider Christie as a VP pick? Are you kidding me? Chris Christie, the Hindenburg of politics, after all the nasty things he said about me. I did a whole video on this. Go to the video section. I basically said why well, Chris Christie should not even be in politics. I mean, look at this guy. He wanted to run against me. He was waddling against me. Chris Christie's A1C is WTF. His spleen is made of salami. His pancreas is made of provolone. And his blood runs ragu. This guy is a walking heart attack. You do not want him to be anywhere near the White House. And I certainly don't want that either. He's not trustworthy. And I found out what his wife calls him in those intimate moments when they're in bed. You know what she calls him? Get off of me. I can't breathe. That's what she calls him. Go ahead. Next question. Hi, uh, this is Rachel Jones from the Non-Binary Times. Uh, hi, Rachel. How uh, are you? I'm really that's, great. Thank a, you. That's a nice mustache, Rachel. Thank you so much. Yeah. I uh, grew up myself. Yeah. Um, Satserve just gave you another $9.99. Satserve. Uh, this is great. I'm going to put Satserve on Space Force. Because doesn't Satserve sound like something that would be part of Space Force? The Satserve division of Space Force. Thank you, Satserve. I like it. I like it a lot. Go ahead. What's the question? I, I think I've got a, some breaking news, sir. Uh, Dharmendra Rai just sent you 40 rupees, I guess, from India. Really? From India? It I says, love, will you love contest, India. Will you contest Indian elections as well? I will contest any election where I didn't win. If I don't win, I'm going to contest it. If I win, why would I contest it? You know what I mean? I'm sure it was fine. But any election I didn't win, I will be fighting. It's true. Uh, but my question, sir, is uh, uh, actually not my question, but a question I do have. I share with Stanley. Stanley. What is it like it, to it, poop in your trousers during a rally? Oh, it's so great. It's so freeing. Because, listen, I'm very, very busy. I'm very, very busy. I don't have time to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? But if I'm standing up here and you see me do this, that means I just dropped a load. And I'm dropping that load for you. You know why? They're not coming for me. They're coming for you. And that's why I'm fighting for you.
I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. Oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Okay. Uh, we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. All right. We got five minutes, folks. Let us know what your questions are. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> That's from the Trump line of sense for our hotels. Go ahead. This comes from SatServe. SatServe. Sir, sir, sir. You know, SatServe should be my VP. Trump SatServe. That should, you should be my VP, SatServe. As a resident well, of northern good. Vermont, I was wondering if you would activate the Jewish space lasers when you return to office to heat things up a bit. Listen, the Jewish space la lasers were top secret until Marjorie Taylor Greene let everyone know about them. But now that they're out and about, we will be letting the Jewish space lasers out uh, as needed. Of course, there's a lot of Jewish holidays, so we can't use them on the Jewish holidays uh, like uh, Passover and uh, Wamsutta and some of the other other ones. But we're going we're gonna to pull that out. We're going to warm things up. Like I said, when I was president, everyone was warm and toasty. Now the country's freezing. It's probably going to break. Uh, and, and, and by the way, I want to point out, with this terrible, terrible weather, trucks, truckloads of items aren't getting delivered to places. And if you're going to the supermarket right now, a loaf of bread is $16 and you need your license. But the cream cheese you want to buy, the Tillman, not there. It's not there. So you have to go to Philly cream cheese, which I don't mind. I like Philadelphia, but it's like a dollar more. All right, go ahead. Uh, hi, it's Rachel again. Rachel. From the non-binary times. Uh, we have a pres uh, follow-up to my last question. Mm -hmm. uh, high Flying Eye says, high Mr. Flag eye. Mr. President, sir, have you ever thought of bottling your farts to sell your most loyal supporters? Oh, not only have I thought about bottling my farts, I've been thinking about bottling my semen so we can speed this process up so we can make more children in this country Trump children. And I know a lot of women, and I see it on Twitter all the time, who say they'd be, these are 20 somethings, who'd be willing to sleep with me. We're going to speed up the process. We're going to get them the Trump seed to them so fast. We are going to turn this country around. It's going to be mega, 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 mega. It's going to be incredible. Uh, yeah, maybe Van Doren, uh, you know, maybe. Since he, uh, my sister got the uterus when we were separated. Right. I don't know if you remember you, where you were conjoined. Yeah, you were so conjoined. So I don't actually have a uterus, but I would like to say if I did, I would buy some of that sperm. You would, you would buy that, and you're helping me out. You're helping the country out. You're helping yourself out, and you're helping me out too. So it's. Is it's there a, any way I can get a, a Trump triple, steak with that? We could do that. We could do. You know what? I like that idea. Anybody who buys a jar, uh, and it has to be vacuum sealed, obviously. Uh, but you buy a jar of uh, the Trump. We'll have to come up with a good name. A good Maga Smegma. Maga Smegma. I like that. <laughs> A uh, Trump Magus Magma, uh, you will get a Trump steak too, and a bottle of Trump vodka because you'll probably need that uh, for the insemination. You know what? We should throw in a baster. We should throw in a baster. <laughs> Can you guys put a baster in the package for the semen? That would be fantastic. Go ahead. Is there any truth to the fact that your semen is orange as well? <laughs> no, no. From what I understand, uh, it's it's usually it's very very white. It's extremely white semen. If you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> You got a donation from Lisa Mitchell for $5. Lisa, I love you. I love when you come out of the mine and send me money. I think that's so wonderful. <laughs> and Lisa asks, how many member taters do you have now, sir, on this channel? I, well, we have subscribers. We have 104,100. Have we hit? Uh, I think we're just over 104, 100. Okay. And then members, we now have 21. 20 we, now. We're 20 we now. We, 20. Oh, we, yes. we hit 20. If anybody wants to join in the last three minutes, join us. That would be absolutely fantastic. You'll be lucky 21. You'll always be lucky 21. Go ahead. Uh, hi, it's Rachel again. Rachel, wow. Uh, from the Non Binary Times. Uh, our friend from India, I'm assuming, uh, Damandri Rai. Damandri. Damandri. 40 rupee, which is maybe, I don't know. Can you ca calculate 50? that? Can you do the exchange? Yeah, probably like a dollar fifty. Yeah. Would that be uh, about it? Why not write a book about your future victory, he says. 
like a future victory. I could do that. I could do that, but I prefer picture books because they're very easy to write. Like I, somebody takes a photo and then someone writes the caption and I put it out and I say it's by me. And the great thing about a photo is you can't lie about it. You can't lie about a photo. You can't lie about a photo. No, we've all seen the Except photos of your inauguration, which was the largest. The so. largest in history. More people were congregated in Washington than any other presidency. And that's not me saying that. I want to make that. That's Sean Spicer. And I think we can all, you know, trust Sean Spicer. Uh, you know, he's a great guy. Spicy. Spicy. You know, but they did him a dirty on SNL because uh, they had uh, Jennifer McCarthy play him. It's bad when a woman plays a man. I don't I don't like that. They'll have to, but we're going to be getting rid of SNL and NBC and MSNBC. And anybody who says anything negative about me or, or teases me, they're out. They're out. It's going to be fantastic. Lisa says this has been your best rally, sir. Thank you so much. This was a good one. You know what? I'm feeling a little looser now. We did so great in court. I won in Iowa. I think the Iowa thing has given me a little bit of, you know, uh, it's making me feel really good, and hopefully I can find Melania soon, and I can, you know, kind of share that with her. That would be absolutely fantastic. But we won in Iowa. It was a landslide. Every single person in the state of Iowa voted. A lot of people don't talk about that. Uh, it was freezing. I told my people, even if it's freezing and you die on the way to the polls, just vote. You can die after you vote, but you can't die before you vote because... That would make you a Democrat. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Weak. Weak. And we had Rhonda Sanctimonious, I call him Rhonda Backstabber, and Nikki Haley, who I, I, I keep working on a new name for her, but she, they both did me, uh, they, did, they weren't very nice people. Very nice people. I think, or how are we on time? We just hit 11, sir. All right, folks, you've been absolutely <clears throat> incredible. Uh, we have more content coming out all the time. Thank you so much for watching this channel on YT. If you're watching, and even if you left just once, just once, make sure you subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But if you want to send money, send money too. But subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you're here next week. Every week, I take your questions. Each week is totally different. And we have another reporter every week. This week, we had Enoch Scott, who was absolutely amazing. Enoch, can you come on up here? And then we are on the tickety talk. Let's get back to six million. We want to get you back to six million. We've got Enoch right here. For those of you, he was fantastic. Great question. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. We're you look, yeah, I know. It was incredible. I prefer <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Oh, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. But you look great. And let's uh, let's get some photos. Let's close this out. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys were great. We're going to take some photos. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Sir, I believe you promised us the YMCA. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're not, can I you, join in? Can you join me? All right. Okay. Young man, there's a place you can go. I said, a young man. Ooh, this is good. When you're short when on your toe, you can't stay there. And I'm sure you will find many ways to have a good time. Dun, 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 dun. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. You can get yourself clean. You can have a good meal. You can do whatever you feel. YMCA. Everybody. YMCA. You guys were great. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We'll be here next week. Next week, everybody.